हाँ स्टूडेंट्स कमिंग टू द नेक्स्ट टॉपिक दैट इज द पॉलीमोफिजम एंड इनहेरिटेंस इन द प्रीवियस वीडियो आई एक्सप्लेन द टू मोर फीचर्स दैट इज द फीचर्स ऑफ ऑब्जेक्ट ओरिएंटेड प्रोग्रामिंग दैट इज वन इज एब्सट्रैक्शन एंड द एनकैप्सुलेशन नाउ लेट अस सी इन दिस वीडियो व्हाट इज पॉलीमोफिजम एंड इनहेरिटेंस सो आई एम जस्ट गिविंग द बेसिक आइडिया अबाउट द पॉलीमोफिजम एंड इनहेरिटेंस actually the polymorphism the word itself is saying poly means many morphism means forms so it's saying that many forms so whatever you are taken so that can be represented in many forms so there are two types of polymorphism that one is one is the compiled compile time polymorphism and run time polymorphism so let us see the example for this polymorphism actually if you take i, I said one thing can be represented in many forms that you call it as a polymorphism exactly so if you take the world so in the world you can represent like this also in the world you are having the india one country okay china is an another country usa is another country okay so again in india you are having different states delhi ap okay so I, if you take usa again you are having different states like uh, new york washington okay so this is one can represented in many forms it can be represented in many forms so this you call it as a polymorphism now let us come to another feature that one is inheritance so inheritance is nothing but it's uh, having the is a relation is a relation so i'll explain what is this is a relation okay so actually this is a mechanism of driving inheritance is nothing but it is a mechanism of deriving a new class from an existing class okay so inheritance is a mechanism of deriving a new class from an existing class so what is this new class and what is its derived class let us see actually inheritance is of five types five types will be there in inheritance one is the single level inheritance multi level inheritance multiple inheritance hierarchical inheritance and hybrid inheritance so these are all the different five types of inheritance that are used in a uh, while you are writing the programs so it may be a single level multi level multiple hierarchical and hybrid so let us see one by one so first one is the single level so i said inheritance is a mechanism of deriving a new class from an existing class so if already one class is existing okay if one class is existing it deriving a new class from existing class so here suppose the flower is there flower and the rose so this you call it as a derived class and this is the base class so from base class we derived a another class 
so this you call it as inheritance it acquiring the properties of the base class the derived class will acquire the properties of base class so it, here rose is a flower rose is a flower if the arrow is like that it's saying that rose is a flower so this you call it as is a relationship so we said that inheritance is a is a relation why it is easy here this rose is a flower so means it is deriving the properties of the base class this is a representation of single level now coming to next level that is the multi second is multi level so what is this multi level inheritance so let us take one example for multi level inheritance so take this only here the world world is a base class so in the world india okay again india is derived from means uh, we deriving the classes means india in india you are having the rajasthan suppose in the rajasthan you are having jaipur so this is multi level so in the world you are having india india is one of the country in the world okay in india you are having the one of the state rajasthan so uh, rajasthan you are having in rajasthan uh, jaipur is there okay. this is a multi level now coming to the another that is the next is multiple the third inheritance is multiple so how we represent uh, multiple inheritance so let us see the example so this is uh, multiple is represented like this so with the one base class will be derived by two derived class so this is a representation of multiple so here suppose if you take bird so the bird may be a parrot or a sparrow so this is the way you have you will express the multiple inheritance next is hierarchical so how we will represent the hierarchical so hierarchical is just like uh, if you take uh, suppose uh, the previous example the world so from the world you are having different countries india okay usa so suppose if you take only two india usa in india you are having delhi okay so delhi telangana so in the usa you are having new york california okay so this is the way you have you will represent the hierarchical model so this is the hierarchical model you are having the parent class child class okay child so this is the representation of hierarchical inheritance so what is that hybrid so last one is the hybrid inheritance so the hybrid inheritance may be uh, it should be uh, of uh, it may be hierarchical plus multiple or it may be multi level plus multiple so hybrid is a combination of hierarchical plus multiple and the multi level plus multiple so hierarchical plus multiple can be represented like suppose it is like class a okay so class a is derived from other class a derived class b and this is class c both are acquiring the properties of class d 
class C is acquiring the properties of class D and the same way class A is acquiring the properties of class D. So this is the hierarchical plus multiple inheritance. Whereas coming to the multi-level plus multiple inheritance. Class A, class B, suppose here the class C, class C and the class D. So this is the multi-level and multiple, this is the multi-level and this you call it as a multiple hierarchy. So the hybrid inheritance can be the is the combination of hierarchical plus multiple and uh, as well as multi-level plus multiple okay so these are the different hierarchical hierarchicals of uh, sorry different inheritance that are used while you're writing the program okay so let us see a simple representation of single level, multi level and multiple hierarchy in the form of a simple program. Suppose if you take single level. So single level I said the example as uh, suppose this here you are having the flower is the base class. From flower we have derived the uh, you are having the derived class. So this is the base class and this is the derived class. It inherits the properties. So the code for this class base. So in the base you are having the data members. And you are having the functions. So this you call it as a single level. So, means here I write only the base class. So, this is the base class. Here I write only the base class. Now, coming to the derived class. So, what is the, how you will represent the derived class? Class derived colon public base. So, here we are acquiring the properties whatever there in the base class into the derived class class data members and functions here you have to write so for whatever the program and this is the syntax of the single level inheritance so first you are writing the base class from base class you derived the derived class so this is the syntax for the single level inheritance. Now coming to the next. Next is multi level. So let us see the program how the multi level class A. So this is the class A. So here you are having the data members and the functions. Class B. Public class A. Again, class C, public class B. Again, class D, public class C. Okay. So, this is a multiple inheritance. What is saying? Here the base class A. It is derived from B. Again, C. D. So, this is multi-level inheritance. So, this is the way you have to be represent. Now, coming to the next one. So, next is the uh, next is multiple inheritance. So, how you will write? So, suppose take class A having some data members and the functions class B having data values and the functions now you have to write you have to inherit the properties class c e colon public a comma public 
B. So this is the way you have to write the multiple. So what it say? Here the A and the B both are derived from the class C. Okay. So this is how you have to write the program of multiple inheritance, single level inheritance and multi-level inheritance. Thank you.